family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. On my first playthrough, I missed a lot of things. And this time, I'm trying to play through a little more in detail. Well, one of the things you end up with every camp location, there's going to be your friends, your buddies, who want to do something with you. In one case, it is hunting bison. And I did a video way back about doing that with one of the other characters. Now, all of a sudden, this case, I talked to Javier, and he talks about robbing a homestead, which is kind of weird. And I'll talk about that once we get into the actual mission of robbing a homestead. Javier? I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. Well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Okay, the great part is because this would be a very, very long ride, they do this panoramic cut scene to where your characters arrive at the homestead that they intend to rob, which is really nice. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. Well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? You got your binoculars? Okay, this is where things get a little weird because now when I was playing this, I realized I had done a video called Chez Porter and yeah, this would have been either one of the two homesteads that you can raid or steal with Javier and well, yeah, really interesting. I'll leave a link to che Chez Porter in the upper right-hand corner where you can view that video because I never went through the homestead raid here. A proper look at the place? Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. I 
hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. Okay, hide behind the rock. I am hiding behind a rock. Oh, wait. I'm hiding behind the wrong damn rock. So I move over to a tree stump, which is not a rock. And then I realize, oh, I got to hide at the rock behind the fence. Check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Arthur, give me a hand here.
I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <coughs> With Javier gone, you should really, really search out the um, area in the buildings and in the area around the cabin and farm, etc. Because there's some decent stuff. And again, yeah, you want to do a thorough looting like this. Money bag and large jewel bag. That's a large jewel bag is about 50 maybe a hundred dollars to the fence and that's good money there's a lot of stuff you want to search through it's going to take a little time but again you want to do a thorough search of the property like here is some ginseng and other plants that's good for healing Of course, here is something really nice, a weapon case, and it's a pump-action shotgun. You clean this up, you've got yourself a pretty good weapon, and you didn't have to spend any money on it.
Yeah. This is nice. A pump action shotgun. After discarding all the open stuff, I check out the horses, and I'm wondering if stealing one wouldn't be too bad of an idea. I did take it from the last time I did take a horse. They didn't sell well, so I have decided to move on, and yeah, these horses, American Paint, and a Tennessee Walker, not that big of a deal. I've decided I'm not going to take the horses. I'm just going to go back to my horse and ride to camp. If you found this video informative, hit the like button, you know, thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I leave four videos in oh 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 damn 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 wolves <laughs>